So OpenAI just applied for the trademark of GPT-5 at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. They have to disclose some of the features that will be available in this model. Let's take a look at what we can expect. While we don't know when this will be out, an industry insider spills some info about why GPT-5 might be coming this year. Yeah, this year. And why some people are pretty nervous about it. So first, here's what OpenAI claims will be in GPT-5. It will include software for the artificial production of human speech and text, conversion of audio data files into text, voice and speech recognition, machine learning based language and speech processing. Now, GPT-4, we believe, took somewhere around 60 million to train. That's not including research costs. Just imagine rows and rows and rows of NVIDIA cards as far as the eye can see, running 24 hours a day for months. That's the part that costs 60 million. But we also believe that there were many inefficiencies in the process of training GPT-4. And since then, the cost of these cards dropped significantly, while their speed and power has increased manyfold. So it's important to understand that if OpenAI was just to spend the same amount and effort to reproduce GPT-4 today and improving whatever issues caused the inefficiencies of the first run, just redoing the training would massively improve the capabilities that GPT-4 had. By the way, we do have a video covering all the leaked GPT-4 model info if you're interested. I'll leave it in the description below. But my point is that this isn't likely to be an incremental improvement. Another thing to keep in mind that GPT-4 was released March 14, 2023. But that's not when it was complete. That was when it was finally deemed to be ready for worldwide release. This thing could be well over a year at this point. So the thing that is rolling out is something that's going to be based on all of the things OpenAI learned. All the data they collected from the world using their products for all of this time. From all the improvements that NVIDIA was able to push out during this time, improving the hardware available, etc. So the thing that's going to be rolling out is hard to even imagine. OpenAI seems to be always way ahead of where anyone can predict. But one guy does seem to know a thing or two. So this is from Twitter, take this with a grain of salt, but Blader, aka Siki Chen, has shared some info from what appears to be an inside source. Now Siki Chen is behind Runway Financial and is on the ground in San Fran, investing, building and hobnobbing with all the AI insiders. Here's what he said. I have been told that GPT-5 is scheduled to complete training this December and that OpenAI expects it to achieve AGI, Artificial General Intelligence which means we will all hotly debate as to whether it actually achieves AGI, which means it will. Meaning if we can't all agree, it means it's there. He continues. So how does an LLM, even GPT-5, get to AGI? Don't you still need to prompt it? Don't it need like to do stuff, have goals? Well, imagine you something like this. Give it a goal, put it in a loop, with all the power of ChatGPT plugins and with GPT-5 instead. We are so much closer than people think. He also adds, also to be clear, I don't mean to say achieving AGI with GPT-5 is a consensus belief within OpenAI, but non-zero people believe it will get there. Meaning there are some people that believe it will get there. He also points to an experiment someone done that basically took ChatGPT and looped it with itself where one instance of ChatGPT basically prompts itself in a loop to try to build out a business plan or whatever other prompt it's given. And at the end, they drop a bomb. Oh, by the way, this isn't GPT-4. This is, this is GPT-3.5 Turbo, the faster, cheaper, and dumber model. And this isn't an isolated case. Multiple research papers use a similar approach to create incredible success with AI agents. We covered several of them on this channel. But the point is that stringing together multiple GPT-4 instances, each one doing one layer of work, for example, one doing planning, one doing reasoning, one writing code as needed, for example, that has been showing incredible promise. Things like Voyager AI, the 25 chat GPTs that run their own village, things like that are showing autonomous, independent abilities to reach goals, iterate, change plans, and continuously move towards one certain objective, getting better and better and better with each new step. Now, people have also been successful with improving GPT-4 with prompting improvements, for example, using things like chain of thought, tree of thoughts, etc. 
sometimes improving reasoning abilities 20x for some specific tasks. Adding memory to GPT-4 has been showing great promise. Having something that ranks and sorts these memories allowed GPT-4 to be better at synthesizing new information and gaining new insights about existing information. So just by throwing whatever thoughts it had into a text file, and then, for example, having another instance of GPT-4 rank those bits of information based on how important they are, condensing them, and then running it through the reasoning GPT-4 again, has been shown to provide new insights. This thing gets smarter as it replays its past experiences and kind of reminisces and ruminates on them. My point is that what happens when we take this whole body of knowledge that we've gained over the last less than a year that we've had GPT-4 available to tinker with, everything that we've learned up to this point, and then we use it with GPT-5 as the core, and not just one, but multiple ones, each one with its own specific set of tasks, all working together towards some one defined objective. Is that going to be AGI? Is it going to be here December 2023? I have no idea, but I agree with Blader. Great handle, by the way. I agree with him that it will be harder and harder for everyone to agree on whether AGI is here or no. Whatever's coming next is going to be wild. Pay attention. This is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.